Between 2 and 5 percent of all pregnant women get gestational diabetes, which is why all pregnant women should get screened for it. Gestational diabetes occurs when the presence of pregnancy-related hormones reduces the effectiveness of insulin, causing high blood sugar. If this occurs, it is usually diagnosed between the 24th and 28th weeks of pregnancy. If left untreated, gestational diabetes can result in high birth weight, low blood sugar, or respiratory difficulties in your baby. If you'd like to learn more about the condition itself, this site has an entire video dedicated to explaining this condition in detail. Because gestational diabetes has no discernible symptoms, it's important that every pregnant woman be screened for the illness. To do this, your doctor will perform a glucose screening, also known as a glucose challenge test, which requires you to drink a very sugary liquid in about five minutes. One hour later, a blood sample will be taken to determine if your glucose levels are high enough to signal the possible presence of gestational diabetes. A positive result on this test, glucose levels above 140 milligrams per deciliter, does not mean that you necessarily have gestational diabetes. What it does mean, however, is that you should undergo another more accurate test called a glucose tolerance test. This test requires you to drink a larger concentration of the glucose solution and then have your blood tested hourly for three hours. If this test comes back positive, you do have gestational diabetes and will have to adjust your pregnancy diet accordingly. Luckily, the condition is controllable and when treated is unlikely to cause harm to your baby. You can find additional information on how to manage gestational diabetes in other videos on PregnancyHealthGuru.com.